Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. This week in Sydney, it's getting a little bit more chilly, even though we're in spring. I think it's meant to rain a lot tonight and also tomorrow, and we're gonna be having hot pot. I've got a list of things that I need to buy. Hopefully, parking is not gonna to be too bad. Do you think parking will be bad? Yeah, you gotta chat with bro on a public holiday, bro. But I'm excited. I'm really excited about this hot pot that we're having tonight. And it's like the first time that me and my siblings are hanging out properly since my sister came back from the US. So it should be good. Are you excited? My sister's dancing in the background. Yes. Guys, the parking situation in Chatswood is horrible. I should have known. I should have known. Chatswood is super, super, super busy today. Uh, but that's a good sign because it means that all the shops are open. And I'm heading to the place that I usually go for meats to get my meats for this hot pot tonight. two bags were so heavy uh, I think I've pretty much got everything um, I forgot one thing okay I've gathered the sibs for dinner tonight because it's been a while since three of us have hung out and had a meal together. None of us wants to cook, so we are having Japanese hot pot tonight because Daisho is kind enough to partner with me and we're using a couple of their nabe soup bases. It's very easy and it's very quick and it's perfect because the weather is a little bit colder lately. I can't believe it's been three years since I've been to Japan and I remember I went to this place in Tokyo for shabu shabu and it was amazing like I think it was unlimited like all you can eat shabu shabu and the meats were great and the condiments were amazing and I also heard that there is a Studio Ghibli theme park opening in November so yeah if there's a Japanese hot pot place in Sydney that you really like please let me know I'd love to check it out but yes, we have so much that we're adding to our hot pot for tonight. Okay, so Daisho soup bases come in these packets. You don't have to add water or anything. It's got enough flavor and you just pour it in and let it boil. So I'm debating between this or this. I think we're gonna use this tonight. Good. I actually think that you almost want to drink it like mm. before it cooks in with everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, the soup has started to boil now, so I'm gonna start eating. I'm actually so hungry. It's really yummy. Apparently, you don't need any dipping sauces because the yeah. broth is already so full of flavor. Okay, this is pork belly.
in terms of meats, I got Wagyu beef and also pork belly. Do you guys prefer pork or beef? Beef. Okay, I'll get more beef next time. This broth is really good and it makes it so easy because you just pour it in. You don't have to like spend time making your own broth. It's quite savory from the bonito and the kelp. It's savory, it's got like a seafood sweetness to it and it's quite, it's quite umami. <laughs> Any other word I don't know, what's another word for umami? Radish is something that I highly recommend for hot pot because it just soaks up all the flavor of the broth. I feel like that and also like all the mushrooms and veggies as well. So I got this daisho soup base from San Yan Yan, so New Yan Yan in Chatswood, but I put in my description all the other locations that you can get this soup base from. So daisho also has a range of different flavors soup bases. So if you do try any of the other ones, let me know what you think um, and if there are any other ones that you really like. I always need some carbs for hot pot. Sometimes I have rice, but udon is always a good always a good option as well. We are pretty much done with everything. I'm so incredibly full. Um, in terms of setup, that was all pretty easy. Once you've got all your vegetables, it's just about washing it and cutting it. Like prep probably takes about 15 minutes. And then once you're done, just put everything in the dishwasher. It's like one minute, the press of a button. So yeah, like I said before, all the details of this Daisho hot pot, it will be in my description. And if you give it a go, let me know what you think. Oh. This seems like a, this seems like a pretty nice spot. I just hope that I'm not sitting under any birds that have just had a very substantial meal. Anyway. I read all your comments last week, the overwhelming of which were split into two groups. One telling me that my estimate of $12 for the breakfast was completely off. I'm always happy to be corrected when I'm wrong. And secondly, I made a comment about how I don't think Maccas in Australia have like pancakes and I was also very wrong. And so today that's exactly what I did. I went to get hot cakes at Maccas and it's super exciting because they're doing that monopoly thing again and this thing of hot cakes actually comes with one sticker so let's find out if we like win a car or something oh nice I think I've won something and now that you see my code it means you can you can redeem it <laughs> Tastes just like how I remember it. It's like a large crumpet. You know what, for $5.55, I'm pretty happy with this. Also, when I was reading all the comments the other day, it made me like really reflect on YouTube. I just thought it was so nice and frankly quite amazing that I can talk about something in a video and then you guys can respond to it in the comments and then I can like take that feedback and do something with it. It feels a little bit like like a different version of a pen pal relationship where my form of expression is through video but then you can write back to me in the comments and i just want to take this moment i don't say it enough like thank you so much for watching these videos it's so nice to have you like as a part of this journey i guess like i really love making youtube videos it's just something that i can't imagine not doing anymore and I can see myself making these videos until, I don't know, until like I'm 80. For as long as I'm able to hold a camera and edit, I will continue to make them. Which actually brings up this super exciting thing that happened to me last week. I met one of my longtime viewers for the first time in person. And it was so cool and it was so exciting for me. Shout out Moo Cat Girl, thank you so much for saying hi. It pretty much made my day. Um, so yeah, if you ever see me out like filming or whatever, please come say hi. 
I know that sometimes like when I'm not smiling I've been told I look like angry or like I look pissed off but I promise like it's just how my face is I'm not actually like annoyed or anything but yeah if you ever see me outside please come say hi it would absolutely make my day Okay, I'm very, very excited about what I'm about to film. So Kuon has opened up a new shop. They have one that's um, for sushi omakase and then they have one that's tempura omakase and then they've opened up a new one, which I actually am not 100% sure what style of food is going to be. The only reason I know about it is because my friend told me about their, I think this is a soft opening. Um, anyway, I'll find out more once I get there. I'm super excited to see like what it's going to be like and what food is going to be available. And of course, I'm going to be taking you along and showing you everything that 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 we're going to be eating tonight. Uh, yeah. So, the Kuan place that we're heading to right now is actually where it used to be. This place is called. Kapo by Kuon and it looks very very similar to the Kuon Omakaze that used to be here prior to Kapo. This egg is incredibly smooth. It's got some snow crab on it as well. It's like got a really nice sweetness to it. I'm sorry there are like lines in the video. I don't know if it's like super noticeable. My apologies. Okay, next up we have lobster sashimi. This is so good. The super fresh sweetness. Okay, this next thing that we're having is a steamed lotus fruit with yam roots, tiger prawn, snow pea, and yuzu. It's got sweetness from the tiger prawns. It's got like a citrusy flavor from the yuzu to like balance it all out. And it's interesting, I've never had something like that before where there's like yam and then there's lotus fruit so there's like a soft texture but then like crunchy as well it's nice i would have it again i mean i think i'm pretty sure i'd have everything on this menu again next up we have a whole series of sushi okay there's nine there's nine pieces of sushi oh wow okay let me show you This is amazing and the rice is so good as well it's quite vinegary next up we have something called a sardine roll i don't think i've had sardines like this before i've mostly had it out of a can in a sandwich with tomato sauce it's got some chives on the inside it's got some pickles on the inside as well and there's a, a sweetness like a seafood sweetness to it as well it's very different to the canned sardines that I've had before. <laughs> Next up, this is the John Dory sushi. Is it a weird thing for me to say how much I love the rice? It's like you can feel each individual grain. Oh, and the, and the fish is great too. <laughs> Next up, we have the toothfish. Toothfish is actually one of my favorite fish to eat. And we have a small piece with beetroot. There's a bit of a miso taste to it. It's quite sweet. And it's so incredibly tender. <laughs> Next up, we have the otoro sushi, the tuna belly. You can see like the lines of marbling across this piece of fish. This is it just melts in your mouth. 
It's like tuna butter. I wish we had another piece. I said that like three times already. That was delicious. Next up, we have simmered octopus. It's got a very strong soy flavor and the octopus, it's super tender. This is creamy and savory. This is like ocean butter. It feels like I went swimming in the ocean and I took some gulps of the water. In a good way though, not like I'm drowning. Okay, next up we have tempura. We have scampi tempura and also sea eel. The exterior is super crispy. And then the scampi, it's very sweet. Next up we have the duck. So the duck is cooked in like a shabu shabu style. We've got spinach, we've got shiitake mushrooms, we've got kumquat, and it's in like a broth texture. It's served in a beautiful bowl. All right, let's give this a go. The flavors are very subtle in this dish. It's very like subtle and clean. We've got two dishes left and then we're pretty much done. Tofu with rhubarb sauce with some crushed pistachios on top. It's like a milky tofu mochi pudding type dessert. This is good. I love desserts that aren't too sweet. Okay, just done with dinner. I really enjoyed it. I'm quite full. I did have like a big lunch, but still like I'm very, very full. I can't eat anything else. So I really enjoyed it. I'll put like all the details of everything in my description so you can check it out. I don't know, can, can people still book? Sorry? Can people still book? Uh, I have not checked. Um, I think a lot of people don't know about it. So yeah, check. <laughs> okay, I'll put like a website down so you can, you can book if, um, if you want to check it out. I am not sure if I mentioned the price of this, but this was $180 per person. I do think the price of this will go up because it is a soft opening. I've been to one other Kuan um, location for tempura and that was $240 per person. And you can watch that video right here. So thank you so much for watching till the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. Leave me a comment. I'd love to read it. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Guys, let's do a happy cheers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>